Oh, ladies and gentlemen, yo, peoples, Kyushu92 here. I've been looking forward to this small thing. It's not the game. It's not the full game. It is, uh, we literally just came out of the, uh, Capcom highlights for day one, and they announced this, the character creator and storage for Dragon's Dogma 2. So I'm going to be creating my character that I will be taking with me in the main game. <laughs> I don't need to look at options. There's only one reason why we're here today, ladies and gentlemen. You know what it is. Let's go. The character you create can be carried over to Dragon's Dogma 2. You can also make edits to your finalized character or customize them from a blank slate using the character creator. So... The Arisen is the character you will control throughout the game. And then secondly, we have our main pawns. Your main pawn is the loyal companion who will accompany you throughout your adventure. Why does this suit of armor and that glowing symbol on their chest just reminds me of like the Soul of Cinder from Dark Souls 3? Is it because this, the symbol in front, it's supposed to signify the fact that their heart is gone. But it just reminds me of the dark sign from the Dark Souls series. Woo, we get multiple slots. Let's get started. Create the Arisen. You can either select a preset or choose to customize your character from a blank slate. Yeah, we're going to create a new one. This may be a slightly short video because I already have in my mind what I want. So let's create a new. Choose a race, body type, and base head to determine the character's basic appearance. You will then be able to make further edits by selecting customize. Once finalized, the Arisen's race cannot be changed. So we have, we have regular human, and then, of course, we have the Beast Wren, which are basically the uh, Beast Folk. So we're going to go with Human. And then we can look at their different body types. So we got Normal, slightly stout, kind of skinny. That seems to be like the most normal size. Then you got the really tall but also massively buff guy. I'm going to go back to this one. Yeah, this will be the body type that I use. <laughs> Adjust the face to suit your liking by making selections over three stages. You will then be able to use the head you have chosen as a base for further customization. Alright, so automatically, automatically you already winning me. We finally got a brother that don't have the Killmonger hairstyle, thank god. Hold on, let me continue to go through here, let me make, let me make sure. Oh, ain't that ain't that your boy from uh, Black Panther? I forget what his name is. The dude from Nope. I forget his name. <laughs> I forget his name, but it's the dude from Nope. <laughs> some of these faces, good lord, some of these faces look really good. Especially for some black folk, they look good. These are some good black faces. These are believable black faces. Capcom! Why does it look like my barber? If my barber was bald, why does this look like my barber? This looks just like my barber if he was completely clean shaven and bald. That's, that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous how... <laughs> that is ridiculous. Um... I'm going to go back to not this dude because uh, not him. Maybe not him. Hold on. No. Uh, you got the Kevin Hart face. I'm good. Uh, dang. I kind of wanted to be light skinned, but maybe have this facial structure. Maybe I can just customize the face. Uh, oh, wait. Let me see. Hold on. Okay, um, 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 uh, skin tone, skin tone, skin tone. Okay. I need you 
I need your base skin tone to be a little bit... Okay, that's too... That's too much. That's too much. That's too much. Oh, they... Oh, they have the... They have the skin tones that also make me look... Wrinkly. Okay. Alright. So, this is more or less my skin tone. This is more or less... Any more than that is just going to be too egregious. I'm trying to I'm trying to find a good tone. I'm trying to find a good tone. I am not that light. I am not. Okay, this might be the one. Let me check the other ones down here. No. Okay. 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 So. I'm trying to get that, that one tone where I'm dark enough, but not too dark. I'm trying to find, I'm trying to find that good mix while also having a youthful appearance. I think, I, th I yeah, I think this was, I think, uh, yeah, I think this was the one. Okay. Skin tone. I I think I think this might be a good tone. This tone here. Wrinkles? Now nah, you young, bruh. You just now getting you just now getting started in the miracles of magic. Okay. All right. Cool. 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 Okay. So his skin's good. Now let's edit the rest of his face. So we got the base head. So now we get to edit. <laughs> oh no. No, man. You look like the type of dude that's always that you look like the type of dude that would try to sell me something that I don't need. <laughs> I need a more brotherly, friendly face. That is not it. Oh my goodness, the way the way you can have faces. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry, sir. You must have slept on the wrong side. On uh, you must have slept on the uh, on your left side the entirety of your life for your nose to be turned that way. I am so sorry for you. That's definitely not me. That's definitely not me. I don't have chiseled features in real life. Yes, it's a shock, I know. But I don't have chiseled facial features. I know for a fact I can edit my face. Because I feel like the eyes are just kind of... Maybe, maybe I don't need to worry about it too much. Ah, aha. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. The eyes were too high. Why were y'all, why were my eyes all the way up there? They don't need to be that high. Let's, let's go. Just, uh, maybe about 80. Nah, let's go, let's go 85. All right. Now, what's really for me, it's the mouth and the chin. That's really got what I need to concern myself with. You could... Li oh, that's sick. You mean to tell me I can go through the whole game with my eyes closed? <laughs> that's actually cool. I forgot that you could do that in the last game, but... Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay. So the eyes are fine. The eyes are fine. Um, I might need to reduce their size, though. The eyes don't need to be that big. Let's get them down to 40. Yep, that's a good enough size. Now, for the nose... Uh, I think the nose is fine. 
I don't need a nostril size. My nose ain't that big. Like my nostrils, my nostrils ain't that big, so it doesn't need to be too much. Yeah, it just needs to be like a decent enough size. Go down just a little. Nostril height. That's raising my nose. Okay, that's taking it back. Let me just angle it downwards just a little bit. My nose has a little bit of a space underneath it. Uh, let's go to about 15. There we go. All right, we're good on the nose. Now for the lips. Mouth protrusion doesn't need to be too much. Yeah, looking better. And reduce lip thickness. Contrary to popular belief, my lips are not thick. And let's keep that at a... Wait, how much can I make the lip... Oh my goodness! He got a pucker on him. Look at that pucker. Look at that pucker. It doesn't need to be... It doesn't need to be a big, giant pair of lips, though. No, we're good. Lower lip. Mm. I think my bottom lip sticks out just a tad. But not to the point where I have, like, an underbite. Uh, actually, yeah, the way it is right now, it's just slightly... It's like a slight protrusion. I noticed that over the years that I got a... Like, my bottom lip is slightly forward. Slightly. Not too much, though. And now for the chin. I do not have a chat chin. I have a Q chin. So let's reduce the chin just a bit. Not too much, though. And I have a little bit of chin sharpness. Just, just a little, I think. There we go. Okay, I think we are good with my face. I didn't even mess with the body yet. Muscle style. Where's the muscle style where I have nothing but muscles? Oh wait, muscle strength. Bump that all the way up. Woo! Yeah, I've been working out. These muscles, these these magic, the magic doesn't just just perfect itself. I got to flex. I've been watching a lot of Mashal lately. I got to flex my magic power. But it's only slight muscle. It's only slight muscle for my guy because all of the muscles he's stretching out is in the brain. Trap size. Oh snap, you can give him like big muscle man shoulders. Oh my goodness. Okay. So my neck has a, a little hint of thickness to it. It used to be skinny, but it's now a little bit thicker. So I'd say it's kind of kind of like that. It used to be very skinny. Upper body muscle mass. Oh! Oh my goodness, you can make your dude buff. Or you can make him incredibly skinny. Yeah. You know, we're gonna keep it we're gonna keep it at zero. We're gonna keep it at zero. We don't we, we don't need to get ridiculous. Yeah, we're good. Oh, I can change the lighting too. The different types of lighting. Oh, that's cool. Yep, I like that. Alright, so head's fine. 
The size of the head is fine. Upper body, lower body, posture. What do you mean movement style? I can customize how my... So this is how I'm going to be walking? What? You can customize this? What? <laughs> what? I can customize this? So if you... Oh, that is cool. How long has it been since you got to edit how your person walks in a video game? I remember when Saints Row 2 used to let you do this. Then Saints Row 3 happened and decided, you know what? Let's make people less personalized. Sorry, story for another time. My dude's got a good posture. A good magician, a good mage, or a good sorcerer always knows that when your back is straight, so is your magic aim. So we're going to put it at 40. Walking nice and upright. What do you mean knee angles? Knee angle? Elbow angle? Oh, you literally can customize how your legs and arms swing while you walk. Oh, okay. All right, so I kind of have like a little bit of a, uh, a little little bit of a uh when i walk i'm not walking perfectly forward that's just not how i walk in real life i have i have like what do you what do you, i don't know what they call it slew footed where my feet are kind of pointed towards the sides just a little bit not all the way but just i want to say like this this is how it looks okay that matches that matches and when i walk Elbows, they're not all out to the side. They're just next to me a little bit like that. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Ooh, I like this. Now, let me see the rest of the walk style. Like, when you boost it all the way up, that's a more forceful approach. But since my dude is going to be in the magic arts, there's a certain el a certain air of elegance that must go with this posture. <laughs> yeah, this is good. This is good. Now for the hairstyles. Capcom? Capcom. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. I'm going to go down the list. I'm gonna go down the list. I see, I see, I see, I see dreads. You know what? This gets a pass. This is fine. This is fine. You got the Killmonger hairstyle, but you know what? I am happy that you have hairstyles other than this one. I'm grateful that you have hairstyles other than this. Like, you got regular dreads, and then you have the Killmonger hairstyle. That is... Just be just because it's in here doesn't mean that it's bad. I'm just grateful that it's not the only one in here. Then you got the Corbin blue hair, got the short fro. Where's where's my bus cut? I need my bus cut. You got the Blanca hair. You got the super dreads, you know the platted dreads. That single lock of hair in the front. Yeah. Yeah, my dude is gonna... My dude is gonna have like a buzz cut. But at the same time, that's hairstyle. My dude's gonna be a wizard. So he's gonna need a beard as well. Okay. Facial hair. Do you have a super long beard for us... For us... For us super powerful mages?
you got the Viking beard. Got the mutton chops. So much, oh, so much customization. You got the, you got the soul patch. You got the soul patch. You got the full, ooh, you got the full, full uh, brush mustache. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I like that. It's not just hair that just looks like it's painted on the chin. It's hair that actually extends from the chin. You see? You see? That's good. That's good. It adds more depth to it. I am so grateful for that. But since my dude's going to be a powerful mage slash magician, I'm going to need all the styles. Sorry, scam call tried to chime in while I'm trying to pick the best. Uh, let's see. Eyebrows. Not super thick eyebrows. Not perfectly white, but the gray. Color t number 12. Actually, you know what? If I'm going to be a mage and I'm going to be an all-powerful one, it'll probably be best if I, ain't, if I ain't got no hair at all. It'll probably be best if I ain't got no hair. Facial hair. Root color. 12. I just realized if I'm gonna be like a like a brother with this skin tone. No, you no, 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 you know what? No, no. I'm gonna be an all powerful mage. It don't mean I gotta be an old guy. I, don't, I ain't gotta be an old guy. I don't know why I'm overthinking it. I'm not, a, I know, we're not doing this. We're not doing this. Going back to the black hair color, eyebrows color, black, facial hair. Where's that soul patch? Where's that soul patch? Not the thick one, the light one. This one. Yes. Yes. <laughs> awesome. Body hair. I can do that? Mm, I don't want to be an overly hairy guy. I'll just I'll just leave it like that. All right. Eye color. Ice eye style. Huh? Eye styles? Okay, so... Ooh. Glazed over. Okay. That's interesting. Iris primary color. Okay. So my eye color... Is lighter, I think. Lighter, I think, in the center... I'm trying to find that right brown. Let me go to this one. Got your greens and your blues and your purples. So much time spent customizing a character. Here I was thinking that it was going to be short, but nope. Nope. Game had other plans. I'm glad I'm taking care of this now. <laughs> I'm glad I'm taking care of this now. That'll be one less hurdle I got to worry about when the game launches. And then primary color is not green. I need it to be brown, though. Like a... 
dark brown. All right, not a light brown. Sclera color. Yo, you can customize like the color of the whites of your eyes. Is there a way you can make your eyes glow? Can you make your can you make your eyes glow? You can glow glaze over your eyes, but can you make your eyes glow? They got all these colors, but I don't I don't see no browns. I don't see no dark browns. I don't see no dark brown eyes, I'm just saying. It's a hint of red. There's a hint of red. Oh. Oh, okay, this might be it. Type yeah, this yeah, this might be it. Yeah, this is my eye color. Especially if it's in like, you know, a bright, very bright room. You can see my eye color a, a whole lot more pronounced nice this is good this is good so the iris colors can be real big <laughs> i got them beady eyes you know i ain't got no beady eyes y'all know I want to make my irises too big. Okay, I'm just going to leave the settings where they were. I'm not going to mess with them. Eyelashes, fine. Eyeshadow, none. Eyeliner, I ain't got no freckles. My cheeks are fine. Lip style? Oh, no. No, I don't need that. Teeth! Teeth? Wait a minute. Yo! You can get rid of all your teeth? You get to choose? You get to choose? I'll tell you what, Mama's clam chowder has a lot more clam in it than I originally anticipated. <laughs> nah, my bro, my bro got some clean teeth. Look, he learned, he learned that Colgate magic. <laughs> uh, he learned that Colgate magic. I'm gonna leave it just like that. The fact that you can just roll up into the royal palace with some dingy teeth. Nah, nah, I'm gonna leave that where it's at. Okay, so we got some tattoos. We got some tattoos we can put on. Let me see. Type one. Ooh, you can have one all over the side of your body. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Ooh, some of these are, some of these I actually kind of like. I don't know if I'm going to have a... You know what? I'm going to treat my character the same way I treat myself. I ain't got no piercings. I ain't got no tattoos. I'm probably going to keep them clean. But I'd be remiss if I don't show what they look like. Oh, yeah. Just just roll up covered in handprints out of blood. Let's just, let's just roll up. You can even see the shine. It's different from everything else. Some of them look like they're just painted on, but this is just... That that's that's a blood shine. That's a blood shine. Then that's a white paint. That's a white paint shine. Facial, facial uh, tattoos. Wow. These. Oh, okay, okay, Kratos. 
Okay, Ghost of Sparta. Someone's gonna do that. Someone's gonna make a tattoo where it goes over his face and the person's skin is just chalk white. Someone's gonna do it. There's a lot of details here. But, no tattoos. No tattoos. Now, scar presets. What well, we got? Scars over the body. Those are like those are like burn marks. Hmm. I this be a deep customization system. Scars all over. Ooh. Okay. What were you fighting to get these scars? Yeah, there's, those are burn marks and scars. Okay, we don't need any of them. Let's just go ahead and reset it. We don't need any scars. Dirt. Oh my goodness, you could just roll around covered in dirt. You could even color the dirt. You can color the dirt. Okay, I just wanted to show that. Um, I think we're good on my guy. I think we're good on my guy. Hold on. Let me see. Skin color. I just want to give him like a little bit more of a darker tone. Just a little bit more. A little bit more. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay. Proceed with this change. All right. So that's my guy. Details. We've already... We've already looked at all this. I've already done his posture. I've already done everything. Vocation! Y'all know. Mage. <laughs> I'm about to show y'all the real extent of magic. Well, first, let's read through the descriptions real quick. Fighter. Fighters battle their enemies in close quarters, wielding a sword and shield. Their mighty attacks and counterattacks allow them to cut down foes with ease. Look mighty nice with that sword and shield. The armor look- oh, can we talk about the armor? The armor looks good. You must got that bendy armor. I'm just- I'm making jokes. I'm just making jokes. But the armor looks good, though. The plating, the chain mail. How'd a sword look? The sword look good. Sword look good, too. So does the shield. All right. Uh, Archer. Archers wield the bow, striking down foes from a distance. Their arrows are quick to find enemy weak points, turning the tide of battle. Nice. Nice bow user. Yes. Mage! My bread and butter. Mages use their staves to cast a variety of spells. Their command of enchantments and curative magics makes them a helpful addition to any party. Look at me. I got I got the magician's robe and everything. I got the gloves. I got the turtleneck to protect my neck. Just y'all wait until I get my hands on a wizard hat. <laughs> you ain't seen nothing yet. And then, of course, we have the thief. Thieves appear as a flash of daggers on the battlefield. Too quick for the eye. Their speed and agility allow them to break through the enemy's guard with ease. Okay, you got the daggers, you got the clothes meant for you to be as agile as possible. Some of this, it just some of this armor sets look really nice. But mage is what we're going to be. I hope you're ready, bruh. You about to explore the depths of magic of which you are unfamiliar! Okay, so we got Valiant Hero. (laughs) 
See, I can laugh like that, but that's not my normal voice. Yeah, I like the Gallant Knight 3. Okay, race, masculine, human. Finalize. Name. See, I was originally going to go in with Grandolf, as I do with many of my mage characters. Like, my Grandolf characters are like tra uh, uh, trans-dimensional characters that can go to, that just appear as different in different games, if it's not one uh, Tiny Tina's Wonderlands, it's Skyrim. If it ain't Skyrim, it's Kingdoms of Amalur. If it ain't Kingdoms of Amalur, it's other games in general. But I think Kyushu will do just fine. Moniker! Uh, what would be a nice moniker for me? Nah, maximum is way too on the nose. Let's go with Mega Man. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder, are there any Q-related names? Hmm. You know, this is actually how people think my name in real life is actually spelled. When they, when they say... Q, because a lot of people just call me Q, especially at my church, or at, uh, they just call me Q-Tip, which is what my pastor calls me. Um, they seem to spell out my name Q-U-E, instead of it just being the letter Q. So you know what? This fits. Character data is currently set to carry over to Dragon's Dogma 2. Yes! When you create a character in Dragon's Dogma 2, you will be given the option to use existing data, allowing you to import the appearance of a character you created in the demo version. Alright. Time to create our pawn. It's been 39 minutes. You guys... Yeah. Yeah! You will now summon your main pawn, the loyal companion who will accompany you throughout your adventure. What should they look like? Try to envisage their appearance. Envisage their appearance. Sorry, words. You can either begin with a preset or choose to create your pawn from a blank slate. Let's create one from a blank slate. I just now realized that with the different sizes, everyone is going to be able to create a pawn that's basically a, basically a, how you say, tall, buff mommy. I hear people say that, so I, I have a feeling that people are my, might already envision what they're going to create for themselves. <laughs> I think this one will be fine. Oh, hello, Felicia. So let's see. I 
I don't know. This one is... This face here. This face right here with the way the hair is. That's... Hmm. Hmm. Let's see, let's see the rest. Mother Gothel right here. <laughs> And then we just... <laughs> you could have a grandma walking with you. Old Mother Hubbard, will you be so kind as to cast some healing magic on me? I appear to have fallen and I cannot get up. But we're going to go with her. We're going to go with her. She just, she's just resonating with me right now. There's just something about her. I don't know what. I'm not changing nothing. This is... This face is fine. This face is fine. All right, so let's see the different things for her face. I honestly think that her base head is fine. I don't need to change anything. I really don't think I need to change anything. <sighs> and before any of you ask, I... Mm-hmm. For science. For science. So we have the thickness of the upper body. I'm just doing this to see what it does. I'm just doing this. I'm just doing this for 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 science sake so that I have it on record. It does in fact yeah, yep, yeah, just what I thought, just what I thought. Okay, we're going back. We are going back. <coughs> just reset it, just reset it. Just thought I'd, just, just for science, just in case people were wondering why I didn't mess with it. I don't think I really need to mess with anything body-wise for her. It was really my main character that I was concerned with. But with her, she's fine, just the way she is. Hair is very beautiful though. There's something I got. I got to be honest with y'all. I know I ain't got like a. I ain't got no preference for when it comes to like a uh, woman's appearance. I really don't. But there's something about a woman who has hair hanging in front of her face, or has it framing her face in such a way. Or maybe she's the type of lady that has hair over one eye. There's something about that that is just chef's kiss magnificent. I don't know what it is, but. That's that's just me. I'm just I'm just telling you. I'm just telling you how I feel. But yeah, she's fine. I don't need to do anything for her. She is actually fine the way she is. This whole section of me working on my pawn may not be long. She is fine the way she is. I may change her hair, but that's it. Everything else is fine. She's not going to have this hairstyle. Good God, no. So, let's see what we can have for her. Wait, can I give her, like, some straight-up dreadlocks? <laughs> okay, I'm going to stop kidding around. Oh, she's got the one strand. Oh, she's got the one strand. Okay. When you join this army, you are required to have your head shaved so we can see what you're thinking. Where's that hairstyle from before? Where's that hairstyle? I lost it. Where is it? Where is it? This isn't it. This is not it. This is not the hair. This is not... Ah, uh, here it is. This... This whole preset, I ain't gotta do jack. I ain't gotta do jack. I'll maybe... I'll mess with her... I'll maybe mess with her eye color just a bit, but everything else about her is just fine. Oh, wait. Sheen. 
Just a just a little bit of sheen. Tresume. Ooh la la. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just want her hair to look better than mine. <laughs> what are you talking about? You only have a shaved head. Be quiet. Okay. Iris secondary color is purple. Oh, this game already knew what I was going to, I was I was already going to do. They knew I was going to go for a purple style. They already knew I was going to go for the purple look. I love that you Oh, that's so nice. With the little tinge, a little tinge in the eye color. Like a little lightness in her eyes. And make sure her her eye color, her sclera is nice as well. This is fine. This is fine. I didn't have to do much for her. Good God, I didn't have to do much. This is fine. Freckles. Oh, Lord, freckles. That's actually one of my weaknesses for women. I'm sorry. Hey, y'all finding out some stuff about me right now. Freckles is one of my weaknesses. I'm, t I'm telling you right now. All it takes is, a, <laughs> all it takes is for a, a decent amount. And I'm like, okay, maybe I need to go talk to her. <laughs> yep, this is fine. This is fine right here. I don't need to do anything for the cheeks. The cheeks are fine. Lips. Uh... I don't think I need to do anything too much for her lip color. Maybe a little reddish. Maybe a little reddish, but not too much where it's too distracting, you know? I think that, yeah, I think that's fine. No, reduce the opacity just a little bit. We don't want it to be too much. Metallic? Metallic what? Oh, and she's got the shine on the lips as well. That's fine. That's fine. That is fine. I don't think I need to mess with her hair color either. Like, if I go to the roots. You know what? Maybe I'll mess with the tips of her hair just a bit. Just a bit. Oh, I love how you can make it gradual. I love it. I love how you can make it gradual. And position the sheen in different places. Yes, 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 yes. From this position, it almost looks like she has green hair, even though her hair is supposed to be... ...be black. So I was just trying to mess with her... ...the tips of her hair. Oh wait! That wasn't even official white coloring. Okay. Let me see how the other styles look with this addition. Okay. Okay, I got a good understanding of it. But the way things are now, we are good. We are good. I don't need to do anything else for her. 
Oh, wait. Posture. Posture. I want her to have straighter, straighter. Nope, I don't, I do not want her hunch, hunched over. Uh, 45. Knee angle. All right. Okay, we're good. Toggle equipment. This is her. If I made her a fighter, I'm not going to make her a fighter, though. Okay. Vocation. Archer. Inclination. Kind-hearted, calm, simple, straightforward. Ooh, let's see. Um, kind-hearted, compassionate, devoted, and dutiful. The most obedient sort of pawn. Favors a balanced approach with an emphasis on support. Quick to aid allies indeed. Ki uh, nice. Calm, rational, shrewd, and strategizing. A pawn character uh, characterized by caution. Favors defense and evasion, employing clever tactics to survive at all costs. Simple, curious, earnest, and adventurous. A pawn with their heart on their sleeve. Enjoys exploring and gathering items and is always up for a challenge. And straightforward, candid, flippant, flippant, and impulsive. A pawn unbound by precepts enjoys the thrill of combat, tackling fierce foes head-on with daring assaults. I'm kind of tempted to have a straightforward pawn, but a calm pawn, when I'm freaking out, I feel like that's going to help me out. The people here are evacuated and safe for the moment. The people here are evacuated and safe for the moment. The people here are evacuated and safe for the moment. The people here are evacuated and safe for the moment. The people here are evacuated and safe for the moment. The people here are evacuated and safe. There are more who can yet be saved. There are more who can yet be saved. It seems the rain has abated. Former Arisen appear to be plentiful in this world. I like this one. Wise, calm, wise four. That's good. All right. I'm making the same setup I did with uh, Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen. Arisen, because my pawn was an archer as well. And she was really good at it. Really good at her job. We're good. We're good. My pawn is ready. Yeah, my pawn ready. Let's go. Okay. Finalize. Name. Now here's the tricky part. I thought of what my character was going to be. But now I got to think of this one. Hmm. Hmm. I can't... Okay, rule of thumb. Whenever you're creating a character and you're a dude, never name your character after girls you liked in your past. Never. Because it will be eternally awkward. So thankfully, I know of a few girls I have liked in the past, but their names do not come to mind. Of which I want to name one. But I am also drawing a blank. On what to name her. <laughs> hmm. What would I want to scream out when I need help when I'm getting assaulted by an ogre or a minotaur in this game? What would sound humorous for me to scream out out loud during my stream?
today. <laughs> yep, that that that'll, that'll do it. That'll do it. Moniker Ace, because I intend to make her a master archer. I'm trying to remember what the vocation was for a pawn to get the longbow. I forgot what that vocation was called. Okay. We are ready. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. I already have my character ready. We got Kyushu right here. He's a mage. And we got Trudy, who is an archer. That concludes my time with the character creator, ladies and gentlemen. Whoo! Man, this game is about to eat up so much of my time around my birthday. Uh, okay, all right. So, this has been my time with the character creator. You guys, if you haven't messed with the character creator already, let me uh, go ahead and try it out for yourself. It's available on PlayStation and uh, other consoles. If you're not playing on PlayStation, it's available on Steam and Xbox as well. Let me know what your creations look like. And also, if you're a part of the Discord, take screenshots of your character and show it on Discord because I would love to see them. But this has been me with the Dragon's Dogma 2 character creator and storage. I look forward to the full game a, a day before my birthday, so that's going to be a momentous week. Hope you all enjoyed. Can't wait to see you all in my next video. Like, comment, and subscribe because I am always looking forward to entertaining you. So have a fantastic day. And once again, as always... Later, peoples!